No, yeah, we'll we'll stop the David Tennant talk. I'll be good. Yeah. Um, Even though actually, Yaimari and I got into a, a very long discussion about females in video games. Yes, we did. Yeah. I forget how we got to that conversation. We got to it because I have no interest in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Unfortunately, I am on the wrong computer for it. But uh, let me see if I can find what uh, brought us to this conversation. Uh. Hoorah's Minecraft world. Yeah, people, I've been trolling Hoorah for you. For the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. It was something about me saying you a Kingdom Hearts video. Uh, yes, that Kingdom Hearts Yaoi comic thing. Oh, it's funny, you know it. I admit, I was giggling. Here it is. Uh, it's because I couldn't play Kingdom Hearts because my dad wouldn't buy the game for me. Because that, that was back in the time I couldn't get a job because I was a teenager, um, aging. And I mentioned that I was really into Tomb Raider at the time more than our, um, RPGs. Yeah, so you got that. Yeah. And then you went to Boob Raider. Boob Raider? Obviously. Yes, you said Boob Raider. And I went, for you, Boob Raider, for me, is like, you know, icon for girls. Like, hello, badass, yeah. 10 o'clock. Yeah, that icon... <laughs> Also happened to have a mod called Nude Raider. Yes, I know about Nude Raider. And don't forget the website that used to exist of Laura in various sexual positions and naked. You that mean site every no longer one of them? Exists. Huh? You mean every single one of them? Yeah. And I love how the, the main site got shut down, but I know there's like little splinter sites still in existence. And I don't Rule care. 34? I don't want to know them, so don't link them in the chat, folks. Rule 34. <laughs> yeah. If it exists, there is porn of it. No, I mean rule thirty four dot net. Oh. That's an Never. actual website. <laughs> Note cut that from podcast. Don't need images. No, I'll leave it in, I swear. Yeah. Yeah, so um, you went from that to female leads. Yeah, I I went on to this thing of female leads because if you notice that lately there's been a lot more female leads in games. I mean, <laughs> I'm not talking Resident Evil four here. Yeah, bitch man, button. Ashley was the best heroine ever. <laughs> bitch dumpster is all I'm going to say. Bitch <laughs> dumpster. Best girlfriend ever. I've been watching Michael's uh, Resident Evil 4 Let's Play, by the way. Uh, no, it's name pretty drop. good. Name drop. <laughs> yeah, name drop. I'm going to have to link Michael. Great. <laughs> Title drop. <laughs> name drop. We just name dropped Michael. That's yeah. Christy. I know. I need to listen what to Interbo about? Netbox again to hear him name drop us. If he does, I haven't listened in months. No, he hasn't. Uh, no. Okay. I've been listening at work because I need things to do. See, uh, the thing is, I've been working with stuff that requires me to have sound, so I can't listen to podcasts anymore. So I need to find some projects that let me just do something without really thinking about it so I can listen to every podcast Not even ever. Retu Talk? No, I haven't even gotten around to Red Suit Talk. And I know they only have three episodes. Cause even though Fragger keeps you, screaming Fragger. in your face about Red Suit Talk. I know, Fragger and Ray keep throwing it back at me. And I'm like, I gotta watch this, I gotta watch this, and I haven't done it. Or I have to listen to it, actually. So I'm gonna have to and link Red Suit Play or Red Suit Talk? Red Suit Talk. I'll, I'll link Red Suit Talk and Red Suit Prey. Which I, I just subscribed to Red Suit Prey, so at least I can keep up with that. Red Suit Talk is another matter because well itunes hates me jason do you have any bad let's plays they could use i don't do let's plays okay he hasn't which by the way uh jason we're gonna have to postpone uh recording that one thing that we talked about that's already fine. that's fine uh husband's sleeping i i figured we'd either do it today or tomorrow tomorrow's fine i'm i'm open all day tomorrow and i don't have to worry okay. about babysitting dogs because i can make my husband do it and the family comes back tomorrow, so... Oh, me and Kissy tried to do commentary on uh, one of her cursed videos. Oh, God, did that fail. <laughs> it didn't fail that get... hard. We went through it. Yeah, it's just... I sat there and went, you know, this video sucks. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, I'm gonna go cut this. Give me, like, five minutes. Five minutes turned into, like, three hours. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. The video didn't render fast enough to me. And my computer was basically going i've used up too much ram tonight you had me render too many too much shit already but uh i'm happy to announce that i will have about eight videos coming out soon Yay! so so caleb if you're listening let's face it you're probably not <laughs> i doubt he is and if he is he's not telling me or jason 
before I end the stream. Or he doesn't care. Yeah. He doesn't care. Yeah, he probably doesn't care. Caleb doesn't care. I'm fine with busy. That. He's a very busy person. He, he keeps is. himself very active. Oh, yeah. I can agree to that. Those frisbees aren't going to throw themselves, people. No, but he's also still recovering. And Emily's not going to date herself. Yeah, but Caleb is still recovering from uh, his injury recently. He injured himself? He pulled his hamstring. Oh. Yeah, so those frisbees are going to have to toss themselves for a bit. Yeah. Just go, launch! <laughs> Get like a, like a disc <laughs> launcher. <laughs> Yep, one of those. <laughs> Pull! Oh man, skeet shooting's awesome. <sighs> I haven't done that in years. Actually, last time I did that was... Three? Maybe three? You were three? Yeah. That's why I can't remember a lot of my years as a young child. And why she's partially deaf. Yeah, actually it is. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I learned it's something. It's why I yell into my mics rather than talk normally, which my oh. husband has pointed out occasionally. I do yell. I turned myself down after we're done recording the podcast. Oh, speaking of stuff I just learned. Uh -oh. I just I just learned some Pokemon facts today. Oh, God. Are we going into Pokemon now? Yeah. I might I, I want to pull up my Game Boy then. <laughs> just start playing while you talk. No. What are, you, what are your Pokemon facts? Apparently, um, Cubone and Marowak were an offshoot of uh, Kangaskhan. Really? Like, I, Marowak I can was, see that. Yeah, like, Marowak was supposed to be to evolve into Kangaskhan. Oh yeah, I remember oh. this. And if you ever look like that makes sense. if you ever look at the baby Kangaskhan next to a Q bone, they're pretty much the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Except one's wearing a bone on his head. Yeah, and the bone right. is the bone of its mother. Yeah. Actually I, um, I've heard this the, the, these facts a long, long time ago. There's a really great um website called Did You Know Gaming? And oh, um, named up. Yeah, named a good good site though. Um, they have uh, all these little little odds and ends facts about games, and one of them that I found interesting about Pokemon was in the original um, Japanese versions of the games, which was, I think, red, blue, and green, uh, uh, you can actually fight... Red, blue, green, yellow. Red, green, bleed, yellow, okay. Yeah, because You can actually fight uh, Professor Oak after you defeated the Indigo Plateau. Well, what? what? And... And yeah, it, it's only unlockable via Game Shark now. But uh, his team was like an Arcanine, an execu uh, Executor, uh, Executor, Executor, uh, a Gyarados, uh, a Taurus, something I'm forgetting, and then whatever starter you and your rival didn't choose fully evolved. Oh, because I was wondering where the hell that other Pokemon goes. Yeah. Well, they fixed that in Black and White though. Oh, they did? Yeah, because you have two rivals now. Okay, I, I didn't... I haven't played Black or White yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to start that probably after Kingdom Hearts drops on Tuesday, which, oh my god. Oh, I know, that's Tuesday. You're so excited. My pants Oh, gosh. <laughs> See, I don't have a 3DS. I'd really like a 3DS, but I, I actually wouldn't... I have access wouldn't... to a 3DS, but I... I won't ask my I... little brother to get it. I can't bring myself to buy a 3DS because I barely play any Game Boy games now. Yeah, well, here's the thing. And... My brother-in-law owns a 3DS, and he plays it like mad, so I'm like, dude, I need this now. Well, here's what's funny is, is that my brother-in-law, like, he came into my room, and I'm like, dude, you're always asking to use my computer, and he's like, well, you're welcome to use my 3DS if you want, and I'm like, really? You want, you'll let me use that? And he's like, uh-huh. I was like, no, nice. you won't. And he goes, yeah, I would. And I was like, you are so lying. Because I know cunt. him. He's like attached to the hip to that thing. It's like, don't you lie to me, you little cunt. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of my room. And his response back to me was, you never asked. I went, I asked you once. And you handed me the thing. And then you said, give it back at five minutes later. Eh. So. But, but yeah, that's. Um, burn! Well, yeah, this also, makes uh... sense where my uh, brother's getting his uh, knowledge about gaming now. I think he's found this website, and I'm looking at the Did You Know Gaming site. Yeah, Did You Know Gaming has a lot of good stuff. Like, yeah. um, also the missing note from uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, Yellow. Was it in Yellow? Uh, it's in everything. Missing note? It's in everything. I'd have to look at Yellow. I'm I'm actually playing through Yellow right now, so I'll have to look through it. Yeah, like, uh, Missing No was actually supposed to be... Um... Fuck, it was supposed to be, like... This, it was originally the graphic for when Marowak evolves into Kangaskhan. Huh. Yeah. That was supposed to be what that's calling on. Okay. Yeah, it was 
and also the I I love that missing no glitch by the way. What is it? Your yeah, your fifth your fifth or sixth item has to be a rare candy. Get ninety nine of them. It doesn't have to be a rare candy. It can be anything. I know, but it's always rare candy. It's always rare candy. No, I did master balls. I I did rare candy. I don't care what 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 was going on. I needed rare candy. Um, what was it? There was one else I learned that I thought was really interesting. Was um, uh, dittos are failed clones of Mew. What? Because yeah. Because if you look at them, if you look at them, they have the exact same stats starting off at the same levels. Oh my god. They're the only Pokemon that can learn transform naturally. And one of the few places you can find them are when you're getting near Mewtwo or when you're on Cinnabar Island when you're at the um, lab where uh, they were talking about Mew so much. Oh, my yeah. God. If, I, I've always suspected that because I was like, if you look at every Pokemon that there is, they're like, you could tell where they kind of grew from or came from. Ditto just stood out to me, and I didn't know why. But that, that solves the mystery. That I'm Porygon. actually looking at a picture of Ditto and Mew right now, and it makes perfect sense. That and uh, Porygon. Naturally, oh, yeah. Naturally made Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, oh yeah. My other thing was, um, Lavender Town is the most creepiest fucking thing ever. Well, it's supposed to be. I know, but think about, uh, you play Gold and Silver, right, Jason? In case they... uh, I haven't, I haven't played Gold and Silver since they initially came out. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm talking about. No, 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 I mean the original Golden Silver, yeah, I know. That's not what I'm the re-releases. Well, I, I don't remember much of them, but go ahead. Okay, you know how you can go back to the original League after you beat through the game once? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you go back to uh, Lavender Town, you know how there's the giant tower for the Pokemon Graveyard thing? Yeah. It's the fucking radio tower in the Golden Silver. <laughs> <laughs> so they pretty much made the equivalent of Poltergeist. Yeah. They, nice. put, they move the tombstones, but not the bodies. <laughs> it's the creepiest thing, because I just found that out today, and, like, I feel so dirty for playing that game now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to really be stuck on this really website for a while. Yeah, Pokemon can be really dark when you take a look at all the things. Yeah, like, uh, the fucking Safari Zone's really weird. The what in the Safari Zone? Just the Safari Zone in general. Like, they have all these exotic Pokemon that don't seem like they should be in that kind of environment. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's like poaching, pretty much. It's legal poaching. It's legal poaching, but you're also throwing stuff. You're throwing rocks and food at these things. See, that's the thing is, like, they had the episode about um, the Safari Zone. And it's never aired in the U.S. because the warden of the Safari Zone likes to point actual guns at people. Yeah. He's like, Ash comes up and is like, hey, I'm going to catch Pokemon. And he like puts a gun to his head and goes, no, you're not. Fuck you, dude. Get back there. Yeah, he's, hey. he's like very, he's, he, well, he sees a Tauros and he's like, oh, I'm going to catch a Tauros. And he's like, no, no, you're not. Are, are you here on the Safari game? No, then you aren't going to catch anything. No, it's like, hey, look at Taurus. I'm gonna catch one. You're gonna catch thirty. <laughs> because yeah, what the yeah? Because it was like was the... that's like the weird transition between Ash having like no Pokemon to having thirty Tauros. Yeah, there's a weird yeah in the in the English dub. There's this weird thing where he's like, hey, I'm gonna go to the Safari Zone and catch a bunch of rare Pokemon. I got thirty Tauros. Like, and then like two episodes later, man, I have thirty Tauros. What when? What did you How? do this? What did you do? Who did you kill? <laughs> Those How many Team Rocket members did you destroy? Those Taurus were, like, fucking affectionate, too. Like, whenever they saw him coming, it was a stampede. Mm -hmm. It's like, Taurus, I came to see you. Murr, oh, God. <laughs> also, with the, if, you, if you think about um, Vulpix to Ninetales, Ninetales is supposed to be a channeler for the spirit world. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff. Dude, if you read Hypno's actual Pokemon entry in Red... He's a, he's a child rapist. Yeah, he's a child kidnapper. He's just, like, uses his uh, hypnotic powers to trick children into coming with him, and the children are never seen again. 
Yeah. What? Dun, dun, dun. I think I think we're we've gotten on a dark topic and we should probably uh, wrap up for the day. Yeah. We've been going for about Guess an hour supposed to be every now. ghost Pokemon though. <laughs> no, seriously, like the original thing is that Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar were the only ghost Pokemon. Yep. And so they were supposed to be dead Pokemon spirits come back to life. Yeah, which d- doesn't really work if they don't really look the same as the Pokemon that died. I'm sorry, just... do, do, do you expect ghosts to look exactly as they died? Well, okay, yes. it could be like collected spirits, so that's why they look like Ghastly, Hollander, and Gengar. Like it's multiple spirits gathered together. Yeah, like Ghastly okay, is supposed to be like a big ball of gas, so it makes sense that he's a bunch of different dead Pokemon spirits. Mm, yeah. They were also my favorite to play in the Pokemon Stadium games. Pokemon Stadium. Because, like, nothing could fucking touch them. Nothing. Nothing. Just like the Dark yeah. Pokemon when they first came out. No, they had fighting as their weakness. Mm-hmm. On the trading cards, they didn't. Oh, okay. So you should have said the trading cards, because in the game, it's like, oh my god, fighting type, run! Oh, yep. gosh. Yeah, but Sneasel were so cool. Hitmonchan, favorite, run! Favorite Hitmon move Chan's to do in any of the Pokemon games, dig. That's only combat. Like Diglett? Pokemon oh my Stadium, God, I would always have my my Pokemon dig because no matter what I do, the other guy was gonna attack first. So I went dig or fly. Oh or look, attack. you can't touch me. I win. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta show you guys this picture. Uh-oh. Of a Diglett. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. No. I don't even want to see it. Do it. <laughs> nope. I'm not touching that. I just looked at I looked at the address. Nope. Nope. It's nope. not a gay image. I, I think I actually know what that is. Yeah, yeah. I knew what that was. I have to <laughs> click it. You have to it's, click it. It's, it's, it's a Diglett oh, with, like, a, a brown Dig Hulk, Hulk body. <laughs> <laughs> that, okay, I admit, that's actually a pretty pretty good other than uh you can actually tell the edit i mean the person was lazy with the well, lighting of course. but still it's still hilarious. smash <laughs> smash oh you want a better one no oh stop. gosh why do you, guys why always you put do the this? picture on rt what uh, huh oh nightmare put his new avatar on the website so Where? good i don't have to post the picture i can just link it <laughs> thank you See, Ray why do you guys it? always do this, by the way? I'm always like, hey, let's wrap up because we've been going for a while. We go for like a half hour or more. I need to do this like 20 minutes into the podcast <laughs> and then we'll have a normal sized podcast. Maybe. Like, hey, guys, we've been talking about one topic. Time to wrap up. No, we have more. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. first comment to- is compl- it has to be Ray. Oh, God. And he said it totally suits you. Yeah, I did owed it. Yes. It does suit you. But I also put into the I sh, my comment should be there saying that uh, it is <laughs> okay good yeah it's that. I didn't draw it I just put the words on it <laughs> so uh, let's outro this man. with the it's raining men song oh no I am not putting it's raining men at the end of this oh no. well there goes my fantasies enjoy Thank your God. fantasies and keep them in your head where they belong Nightmare. Oh. Yeah, they do not belong on this podcast. Oh, God, what was that? <laughs> yeah, actually, I have to start signing off. I think we just got a thunderstorm coming to my area, which usually means no electricity. It's oh, okay. I gotta go came... wake up that... my husband anyways, because uh, he's we got to go pick up We just had that thunderstorm. Tora. You're welcome, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know where you live, so I'm not sure how where that would affect me. New York. Yeah, he's over Oh, that New doesn't York. affect me in the least. Okay. Yeah, Nymari's in New York. Jason's in... Southern, Virginia. and I'm in California. Jason's in Southern. <laughs> Jason's in Southern. Southern. It's just a place we don't talk about. God, I hate you so much, Christy. God. <laughs> <laughs> what? California is cooking right now. I'm boiling. Turn on the AC. No, it's like, okay, I had to point out something. My house is always kept at its, at uh, 70 degrees. It's fucking cold in the house, but if I step outside, I die. It's not by choice. It's because my in-laws have... One of them has a medical condition that means they can't sweat. Cool. Like, literally, I'm not going to ask sweat. questions about that. I'm just going to say, hey, everybody, it's, let's go. Hey, everybody. It's, right. it's about that time for us to wrap up. 
Alright, let's wrap it up. Say fuck it. We're out of here. <laughs>